Hi guys, I'm Anikit Das Gupta and you're watching Diffusion at the Movies. The movie I'm reviewing today is Boyhood by Richard Linklater. The whole idea of Boyhood itself is pretty amazing to just think about. The director took 12 years and made a film over these 12 years documenting the growth of a person, of of a person's childhood to his adulthood. That is re-looking at filmmaking completely. We've heard of uh, coming of age stories before. We've seen the Oppu trilogy uh, by Satyajit Ray, where we see Oppu growing up from a small child into his adulthood. We've seen Truffaut's movies, which documents the growth of a child. But to have the same child, and in this case, the same actor playing out himself over 12 years, that idea just blew my mind. The movie stars a completely unknown actor by the name L. R. Coltrane, who plays Mason. from the ages of 7 to 18 it it basically documents his life as he grows and you know everything that comes with uh, your adolescence and when you're 16 your first drink your first joint all of that all of that as it would have probably happened in a documentary film but this is richard linklater making a fiction film using the same actors the same sets and the same surroundings for 12 long years this is a master stroke the acting is top class by everyone Ethan Hawke returns as Mason's father, Mason Senior, in this film. He is top class. It's weird that all of this happened for just a few weeks, every year for those twelve years, and not a film that was shot at a stretch and you know using different actors. And you flow with the narrative. It's a pretty long film, but I was hooked on to the film. The teenage angst, the confusion about which career to pick up, peer pressure, trying to hit on that person you really like. all of that all of that condensed into a non overtly emotional non tear jerking non overtly dramatic film just the right amount of drama that you want in a movie yes ca- characters do go out of importance some french characters do come into importance but that's how our lives are the person who is most important to you today is not the same person who was important to you when you were 7 because that person was ronald mcdonald for me and he isn't that important to me now this is a film by richard linklater and he's famous for his before series before sunset before sunrise before midnight all of those films and we've seen other films from richard linklater before i love slacker i love dazed and confused i am pretty dazed and confused and if you watch those films you'll know that his films are highly improvised and he sort of followed the same track on this he actually did not plan what he was going to do for those 12 years he just made up his mind that he's going to document a child's life through those 12 years and he would modify his own story according to the events that occurs in the actor's life obviously with some amount of artistic liberty so when i saw before midnight i thought this was the epitome of how different filmmaking language could get you follow a couple over so many years and then this is where you arrive at but with boyhood it just goes to the next level this is an experience your sort of looking into someone's life for 12 long years in those 2 hours and 40 minutes that by itself is an experience that you can't miss if i had to rate the movie i would say this is the perfect film it 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 sort of fulfills every need every want i would have from a film so this is a 5 on 5 for me this is that film that we would talk about for the next 50 years richard linklater has made something that is surely going to get him into all the film school textbooks in the future or maybe next year i don't know thanks for watching we'll try and do a review every week we also did a special on interstellar which you should totally check out and we do a lot of other videos so you should totally subscribe to our channel bye bye <laughs>